these sicknesses in their bodies because they are ashamed. But when you go and you embarrass yourself before a man of God by confessing that I sinned against God, I slept with a man, I slept with a woman, not my wife. It was that embarrassment brings sorrow, brings repentance, it brings a disciplined life, and it also removes disease from your body. When you do that, even before someone prays for you, you are healed. So I said, number four, a lifestyle of sin can open doors for you. John 5, verse 13. John chapter 5, verse 18, Jesus met a man whom he had healed at the pool of Bethesda. But the one who was healed did not know who Jesus was. For Jesus had withdrawn a multitude being in that place. So now we see him meeting Jesus. Afterward, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. Hmm? You are now healed. You are now in good health. Sin no more. Lest a worse thing come upon you. Which means this man, the reason why he was sick for all those 38 years, what made him to be in that sickness was because of sinning. He had a sin, sinning lifestyle. When you use the message Bible, it says a little letter. Jesus found him in the temple and said, you look wonderful. You are well. Don't return to a sinning life. Or something worse might happen. Don't return to a sinning lifestyle. Or something worse might happen happen. Which means if you go back again, something might happen. Sin brings sickness and disease. And unfortunately, as I said, when you sin, when you are living a lifestyle of sin, now look at me here. Understand this. The sins that you are doing today, they don't only affect you. They affect even your children as well. Especially a continual sin. A certain repeated sin. Once you repeat a certain sin for some time, it enters your blood. Anything that you repeat that is negative, it becomes a generational curse. It becomes a bloodline thing and it is passed to your children. The reason why some people, even your eyes, do you know even the healing that we do sometimes of healing people from eye problems? Eye problems, it's also a generational case that is flowing in the blood. That's why you find out if, uh, if you are wearing glasses, you check your family, there will be a lot of people wearing glasses. Blindness Blindness is usually a sign of generational case. John chapter 9. Now as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from birth. Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from birth, and his disciples asked him, saying, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, which, Jesus, let's hear Jesus' answer. Jesus said, neither this man nor his parents sinned, but that the works of God should be revealed in him. Jesus is agreeing with them that it's possible for a person to get blind 
or to be born blind because he, his parents sinned. And it's also possible for a person to be blind because that person in particular sinned. Sinning as an individual can make you even to lose your sight. You can just lose your sight by just sinning. So Jesus is saying, no, this issue in particular, especially of this guy, it's not about him sinning, neither is it his parents who sinned. But this one is for the works of God to be revealed through him. Jesus did not say, no, there is nobody who gets sick because his parents sinned. He is saying this particular case which we are dealing with of this man is not because of him sinning, nor of his parents sinning, but it is for the work of God to be revealed through him. Now let's go to number five. People get sick, number five, because of not eating well-cooked food. Huh? Not eating well-cooked food. This one, it does not need deliverance. Hallelujah. Just to take your wife for some cooking lessons. There are so many colleges in town that are teaching women how to cook. Because there are some women who cook poison. I don't just eat anything. Because I don't want to be sick. Because I have kept myself in all these other things. I have broken generational cases. But do you know, even if you have broken generational cases, if you are not living a life of sin, if you eat Food that is not cooked well. You can get sick. Eating salad. That has stayed for three days. Hmm? And it is vinegar inside. And you pray, no matter how much faith you have, you have a running time. Because that is not good for your stomach. So sometimes we don't, we don't want to just bind demons and cast out demons. Some of you go and change your eating. Go and change the way you cook your food. Sometimes we just, you know, such things now. You don't need to, there are certain sicknesses where as a man of God, I don't need to say, Demon, go. Those sicknesses like that, I trigger the healing gift. Now, there is no need of casting of demons. Now, the healing gift works in such circumstances to just bring healing in your body. Because there is no demon there. Your wife is cooking poison at home, full stop. Do something about that. Hallelujah. Just shake somebody, say, do something about that. <laughs> Women, if you are sitting next to your husband, say, do something about me, please. <laughs> Send me to some cooking lessons. <laughs> Hallelujah. Drink a lot of water. In the morning, a lot of warm water. Some of you, you hate water. That's why you are always sick. Do you know some people, they just need a lot of water. Water will flush out, out all those acids and things that are accumulating in your body. So every morning, make sure, because we are a healing center, we don't just want to teach people about uh, de demonology. We must also teach you hygienic principles. 
Aleluia.